Calling it an historic day, state lawmakers and healthcare officials unveiling a $2.7 million federal grant they say could change the tide in New Hampshire's opioid crisis. It will allow us to actually bring to scale some of the evidence-based integrated treatment programs that we've had such tremendous success with in Lebanon for the last five years. Dartmouth-Hitchcock will provide screening and treatment for pregnant women addicted to opioids. Care sites in seven Granite State communities will offer psychiatric consultation and case management services. The program will also focus on making sure that these women have a seamless transition to ongoing treatment after they have their babies. One of the things that we learned in providing care for pregnant women is that their needs do not stop when they have their babies. The funds were lobbied for by Congresswoman Annie Custer and Senator Jean Shaheen and will be spread over a two-year period. This cuts across all uh, socioeconomic, all geographic, all different types of people in the community. So no longer can people say this is an us them, this is a we all are in this together. However, a recent trend of drug treatment center closings around the state has lawmakers concerned about the shrinking number of resources available. I think everyone is doing the best they can. We certainly could absolutely use more resources. Um, I've been uh, talking with the governor. I'm scheduled to speak with him tomorrow. Um, you know, again, communication is key. We need to know and let each other know what, what the needs are in each of our communities.